Hello students, uh, in the today's sessions I am going to do a question paper problem. I am going to solve the question paper problem uh, from the here July 2007 case study problem. Same question uh, was repeated during the here June July 2008 also. The subject the quote on that time it was MBA F2, the question number 8 for both the question paper. I just read out the question paper, you go through that. Given below are the financial data relating to two scripts in the pharmaceutical industry with a paid up value of rupees 10 per share. They have given the table for 5 years from 2000 to 2004. The year uh, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003 and 2004. Uh, the, the two companies data they have given, one is company A and the one is company B. Uh, they have given face value, book value, EPS and dividend per share of both company A and as well as B. The face value is 10 rupee for all, uh, for all the years. It is applicable to both company A and as well as company B. Book value is 2000, in the, in the year 2000, the company A was 15.12 and company B is 26.29, subsequently 17 17.60, 28.99, 19.98, 36.73, 23.26, 41.05, 25.04, 47.18. EPS of both the company from 2000 to 2004 is 2.78, 2.26, 5.48, 2.96, 5.87, 8.97, 8.06, 6.90, 6.28, 9.13 and dividend per share from 2000 to 2004 for both the company is 2.40, 1, then 3, 2, 3.50, 3, 4, 1.50, 4.50 and 3 rupees. Okay, and the question they have asked based on the data presented calculate standard deviation of script A, question number 1 we have to calculate SD of script A, then question number 2 SD of script B, then third one coefficient of variation of script A and coefficient of variation of script B. So these are the question they have asked in the first parameter and secondly they have asked identify the script to be selected based on the reason. So we have to give the reason for the script selection. This is the problem they have given. So here they have given the book tab presented calculate standard deviation of script A question number 1. We have to calculate SD of script A then question number 2 SD of script B then third one coefficient of variation of script A and coefficient of variation of script B. So these are the question they have asked in the first parameter and secondly they have asked identify the script to be selected based on the reason. So we have to give the reason for the script selection. This is the problem they have given. So here they have given the book value as well as uh, EPS of the a company A and company B. So by seeing the book value we can say that the company B is more leveraged firm compared to company A. So based on the EPS level, EPS means return. So here we are calculating the standard deviation of company A and company B and also coefficient of variation of company A and as well as company B. So based on the calculated parameters, we are going to suggest which company can be chosen for investment. Okay. So EPS they have mentioned, EPS of company A and company B, uh, the EPS is return, return is uh, X and as well as uh, y for company B. So we can take uh, uh, mean return and we can take the like standard deviation and we can take the coefficient of variation. Based on that we can go for the selection criteria. Okay. So first we have to assume let x be the stream of EPS generated by company A and y be the stream of EPS generated by company B. So assume let assume x small s you can take it x is EPS of company A and y is EPS of company B. Okay, so based on uh, this assumption, we can go for the calculation. 
okay so we have to find out the uh, sigma hex as well as sigma y first later on we are going to find out standard deviation that is uh, uh, we find out the standard deviation of x and y that is eps of company a and company b then later on we are going to calculate uh, coefficient variation of uh, company x and company y that is company a and company b so first let us find out you can take a table so here they have given from 2000 to 2004 five years data they have given you take So x EPS of company A is x. Okay, first you write down the EPS of company X. They have given 2.78, then 5.48, then we have 5.87, then we have 8.06, and lastly we have 6.28. This is the return of company A. Okay, this is called as mean return, mean return of company A. So, find out the sigma x total of this one. It is 28.47. This is called sigma x. Same thing you do for company B that is represented as Y okay Y so you take the return of Y is 2.26 then 2.96 then we have 8.97 then 6.90 lastly we have 9.13 okay so sum of this you do, this is called sigma y. So total of this one, it is 30.22, 30.22 is the sigma y value. Then go for further calculation that is x minus x bar, then x square, then y minus y bar and y square. So x square you do, square of this one, you have to do it. It is, how much you will get? First you do x minus x bar, later on you can go for uh, x square. First to now, we can go for x minus x bar. Go for x minus x, x bar. So find out the x bar now. X minus x bar, if you wanted to do, you are supposed to do x bar. So x bar is equal to sigma x divided by n. Sigma x is 28.47 divided by n. 5. So how much you will get? 5.694 this is sigma x then do y bar y bar is equal to sigma y divided by n sigma y is 30.22 divided by 5 we will get 6 okay exactly we will get 6 6.044 you can take or you can take 6.044 or you can take 6 fine this is the calculation of x bar and y bar so simultaneously you do x minus x bar x minus x bar you do x is 2.78 x bar is 5.694 so do the minus of that one you will get 
2.914 this is minus value next 5.48 minus 5.694 you will get 0 0.21 14. Next 5.87 minus 5.694 you will get 0 0.176. Next subsequently you will get 2.366 and you will get 0 0.586. This is called x minus x bar. Next moving on to x square to the x square. Okay, x square you do, you will get 8.4914. Next subsequently you do, you will get 0 0.0458. Next, simultaneously you do it for the subsequent factors, you will get 0 0.0310. Next, 5.5980. Then you will get 0 0.3434. This is the value of x square. Then find out sigma x square, sum of this one, you take it. So, you will get 14.5096. Next, same thing you do it for y, y minus y bar, then y square. y minus y bar, y bar is 6.044. You do it, so you will get 3.784, it is minus first one. Next 2.96 minus 6.04 you will get 3.084. Then next one you will get 2.926. It's plus. Next subsequent you will get 0 0.856. Lastly you will get 3.086. This is called y minus y bar. At the last, you go for calculation of y square. y square you do. So, you will get 14.3187. Next, subsequent 9.511. Next, you will get 8.5615 and you will get 0 0.7325. Lastly, you will get 9.5234. This is called y square. Sum of this you do. So, you will get 42.6474. This is called sigma y square. 42.6474 you will get. This is called <coughs> sigma y square <coughs> calculation. Okay. Next, moving on to Moving on to uh, like company A standard deviation and company B standard deviation and lastly coefficient variation of company A and coefficient variation of company B. Okay. So, first you do 
company A standard deviation is equal to root sigma x square divided by n ok sigma x square divided by n so sigma x square is how much 14.5096 14.5096 divided by n is equal to 5 years. So, how much you will get? So, you will get 1.7035. This is called standard deviation of company A. Then find covariance, coefficient variation of company A. What is the formula? Standard deviation x divided by x bar all into 100. Standard deviation x divided by x bar all into 100. Standard deviation x, standard deviation x that is 1.7035 divided by x bar 1.7035 divided by x bar how much it is 5.694 into 100 So, you will get 29.22 percent, 29.22 percent. This is the calculation of CV for company A. Got it? Same thing you do it for company B also. Do it for company B also. I just rub it, I will do company B. Standard deviation of company B, you can take this instead of sigma x, you can take sigma y. Sigma y square, whatever you have calculated, 42.6474. Okay, 42.6474, okay, 6474 by n, root of that. So, I will get 2.9205. will get 2.9205 okay this is the value we will get it then go for cb calculation cb of y that is sigma y divided by y bar into 100 if you do that sigma y is how much sigma uh, y is how much? It is 2.9205 divided by y bar. Y bar is 6.044 into 100. So, you will get 48.32 percent. This is the calculation of CV for company B. Okay, standard deviation as well as CV for company B. This is how we calculate for the first four question that is standard deviation of company A and company B, then coefficient variation of company A and company B. Then lastly, they have asked you to give the reason for selection of script. So, here if you consider 
the standard deviation of company A and the B. Based on the standard deviation, if you take, actually the company A is best and company B is not up to the mark because it has a risk factor. And also if you take the covariance, the level, so there also the company B is high and company A is less. So risk factor is very less in company A. But if you consider in terms of like the capital structure or if you consider in terms of ownership structure, the companies, the company B is preferable. So see the book value. If you see the book value of both company A and as well as company B, the company ha company A has the more like leverages. Okay. Uh, okay. Based on the leverage level, if you consider the company B is best. So we can go for opting company B because here the financial risk is very less. In the point of investment, if you take, so I prefer company B for the selection, what for? For the purpose of investment. So company B is preferred because the financial risk is very less in company B compared to company A. This is how we are going to solve the problem based on the uh, like whatever data they have given in the question paper. So, which carries 20 mass, which carries 20 mass. Okay, next moving on to one more question paper problem. From the year December 2011. I just read out the problem, you can go through that. Question paper uh, problem it is from the year December 2011 and uh, subject code on that time it was 10 MBA FM 322. First I just read out the problem. Question number 6 C it is it which carries 10 mass. The estimates of the standard deviation and the correlation coefficient for the stocks are given below. They have given the table value which includes three scripts data. Stock A, B, C standard deviation they have given for A it is 30, 32, for B it is 26 and for C it is 18. If you take correlation with stock. Um, so, it, for A it is 1, 0 0.80 that is minus and 0 0.40, for B it is 0 point, uh, minus 0 0.80 and B uh, it is 1 and C it is 6.5. If you take C for A it is 0 0.40 and B it is 0 0.65 and for C it is 1. So, this is the data they have given in the table and if a portfolio is constructed with 15 percent of stock A comma 50 percent of stock B and 35 percent of stock C. What is the portfolio standard deviation? So if they given like this like portfolio construction of 15 percent, 50 percent and 35 percent what will be the standard deviation portfolio standard deviation. So here they have asked us to calculate the portfolio standard deviation. Okay, so the risk level they ask you to calculate. So the based on the data given we are going to find out the standard deviation of portfolio. So three set, uh, the three stocks they have given here that is A, B and C. So first you take the given data. So given data, so they have given the weight. 
the weight of A and weight of B and weight of C they have given. So first you take weight of A. So weight of A is how much they have given? It is 0 0.15 and weight B is that is 0 0.50 and weight C is rest 0 0.35 that is 35 percent 15 50 and 35 out of 100 or out of 1 it's the distribution level the weight uh, proportionate level then standard deviation of a also they have given that is 32 and standard deviation of b they have given how much it is it is 26 and standard deviation of company c is how much it is 18 and also they have given r value combination of both AB then BC and CA. So you take the R value of AB. R value of a, AB is 0. Point, minus 0. 0.80 and R value of BC it is how much? 0. 0.65 and R value of CA with the combination of CA is 0. 0.40. Okay. This is the data they have given weight, standard deviation and R with the combination. So we have to apply the formula that is standard deviation of P is equal to weight of A square and standard deviation A square plus weight of B square and standard deviation of b square plus weight of c square and standard deviation of c square plus 2 into r a b first you take it r a b into weight of a into weight of b into standard deviation of a and into standard deviation of b plus next second set 2 into BC R BC into weight of B into weight of C into standard deviation of B into standard deviation of C plus third set that is 2 into R what is it C A that is equal to weight of sorry weight of C into weight of A into standard deviation of C into standard deviation of A. So this set we have to consider. Okay, weight of A is how much? 0 0.15 square. Standard deviation of A is 32 square plus weight of B is 0 0.50 square weight of B is 26 square plus weight of C is 0 0.35 square into weight uh, standard deviation of C is equal to 18 square plus 2 into RB RAB RAB is minus square plus 2 into minus 0 0.80 okay 2 into uh, AB is 0 0.80 minus it is into weight of A is 0 0.15 then weight of B is 0 0.50 standard deviation of A is 32 standard deviation of B is 26 plus 2 into RBC. RBC is 0 0.65 into 0 0.65. Okay, BC is 0 0.65. Then weight of B is 0 0.50 weight of C is 0 0.35 
standard deviation of B is 0 0.65, sorry, 0, uh, sorry, 26 it is, and standard deviation of C is 18 plus 2 into RCA is 0 0.40 into weight of C is 0 0.35 weight of A is 0 0.15 into standard deviation of C is 18 and standard deviation of A is 32. You take root of this, root of this you take it. to calculate the square value for all those things. So within this set you will get to 23.04, 0 0.50 square into 26 square you will get 169, subsequently you will get 39.69, okay. First, the set of R, A, B, R, A, B is minus 0 0.80, okay, so you will get minus uh, 99.84, then second set you will get the plus value of 106.47, then the third set will get 24.192. Okay, so root of this together put together it is we will get 262.552. So if you find out the root value of this one. will get 16.20 that is value of three securities put together is 16.20 this is how we solve the problem okay thank you